after the death of a climber at El Capitan Mountain. His wife today spoke to Fox 5, saying her husband died doing something he loved. Our Zara Barker spoke to her about him and joins us live from Lakeside. Hi, Zara. Yeah, hi, Andrew and Maria. Good afternoon to the both of you. I was able to ex exchange a couple of messages with Adam Schmidt's wife earlier this morning. She tells me, as you said, he died doing something he absolutely loved. She said that he came here to El Capitan early Monday morning to go on, to, on a hike and then was supposed to check in with her about 2 o'clock that day, but that, but that he never did. And that's when she alerted authorities and a search and rescue team went out to try and find him. Now, she was able to share a couple of photos of the two of them doing again what she said is just something that they absolutely loved. They were avid hikers and did this a lot together. Now, she says that he was set to start a new high school English teacher position this fall and was an experienced climber. Here's a statement from his wife. She says Adam Schmidt sees every opportunity that life gave him. If he had an interest in something, it would fully consume him. And on July 31st, he went to the place where he felt most connected to himself and nature. Adam died doing his favorite thing in his favorite place. Now, authorities tell us a man's body was found the following morning after he went missing near one of these hiking trails. The exact cause of death has not yet been determined yet from the medical examiner. And of course, as we all know, this comes during a very hot time of the year, just a day actually before the scheduled closure of several parks in San Diego because of this heat. Three trails are now closed as of August 1st because of the temperatures and because they're in areas that just don't really provide a lot of shade to these hikers and climbers. So we have three trails in our county system that they really don't have a lot of shade. And so during August, we close them down. So El Capitan is one of them out in Lakeside, um, Mount Gower out in Ramona, and Hellhole Canyon out in Valley Center. We close them down for hiking um, because it's, it's really very dangerous. You just can't carry enough water with you, uh, at, you know, at this time of year. For those, for those areas, there's just no relief there. So for everyone's safety, we close them down for hiking. We reopen them on September 1st. And now again, we are still waiting on official confirmation of what exactly happened to this hiker. It's something we are hoping to learn from the medical examiner's office as soon as that is released. Now, in the meantime, officials are just warning everybody, if you are coming to these trails, even though they're closed, Technically, you still can go. They're just advising people to not go because it is still hot. There's lots of other trails in the area uh, that are not closed and that provide a lot more shade to people here. And they're also just warning people if you're if you are coming out here, try and do it earlier in the morning. Try and get out here before even the sun comes up and before we get that heat of the day. And if you do come out here, just bring way more water than you even anticipate you'd need. Live in Lakeside, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.